dinky right now. It's running good though. There she is idling nice and cold out. Uh, but yeah, so we had a misfire yesterday. For anyone that uh, knows me personally or closer to me, you guys know how bummed out I was over that. So basically, I went to go start the car in the morning to, uh, to move it because I had to get some stuff up here in the rafters. And cool, I moved it, but it died. I'm like, okay, it doesn't like to idle when it's cold. It died on me, which sounds like it's about to do right, do right now. Uh, but I went to go start it back up, you know, turn the key, and it started missing like really bad. And I was like, oh my God. Uh, but I didn't cook a valve because the day, previous day I went out there and did, did a couple pulls in it for my last video. No matter how long I kept the car to idle yesterday, I had to hold the throttle to idle. It was missing, missing. I was trying to burn all that fuel in there, but it was it was not wanting to run. So before, I was replacing the plugs like almost every oil change. I'm like, yeah, it's a little too long. So I went almost two oil changes with this, and yeah, that's what happened. So we secured the spark plugs. I rarely had them in stock. The same ones. The BKR 784644. Oh, You could have watched her wrist on this one. You end up killing yourself. <laughs> Much better idle. That's what we want to see right there. So, back to where it was. Yep, maintenance is important for these race cars. So, here are the plugs. You can see they're like all of them are a carbon valve. Dark. They're also made of a nickel. Uh, they're nickel. They're not even platinum, so they have like a half-life. And with this car, how rich it runs when it's cold. Yeah, I mean, these plugs are, yeah, they don't last long. That's why I like to keep my car revving kind of high when it's cold. I don't like to let it sit low. I kind of hold the throttle for a little bit, kind of burn all that fuel up, let it warm up. Gap them properly. The back of the car, car runs good. And I'm kind of happy. I'm going to go drive it. So we're gonna go in and uh, mess the boost by gear settings. I'll show you guys how I, you know, adjust it, how I do it. There's a laptop. It's a dinosaur laptop to boot up. Don't tell the battery's dead. Oh, suck, man. Oh, <laughs> tree looks nice. Ah! <laughs> it's old. Just waiting for it to boot up. Let's see if we can go tune some boost. <laughs> Crash his face. <laughs> Woohoo! But the laptop finally all booted up, so first thing we want to do is, you know, if you don't have the S Manager app, you have to download the S Manager on your on your computer. And so I got mine. Set your uh, final boost target. You don't want to go above that because then you will boost cut. 
So anyway, we're going to click on the gear base duty cycle. And you can see gear RPM, the column right here in the rows. And it shows first through fifth on here. You're going to be changing these numbers by duty cycle. I believe there is a way to uh, there's a way to make it PSI. So I can figure it out. Uh, I'm not going to mess with that. But that's your duty cycle. And that's what we're going to be playing with. So like I said, download your map or you know, open it up on on your Hyundai if it's saved. Click on the boost control tab and click on gear based duty cycle. Now it's important before you do this, you guys have to have the, the PWM, all the components uh, soldered into the computer. You have to have your boost solenoid and all the components with it and you have to have it hooked up properly, grounded. You have to have a signal to it. If you guys need help installing that, I did make a video on that, so I'll put the link below. So let's go get this car to a safe spot to drive that is on private property. And I'm gonna kind of start messing with boost settings. I'm gonna up it really high, and then I'm gonna show you guys what happens when you dial it in and how it helps with the traction and how it keeps the boost steady. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off because I'm like surrounded by freaking tweakers, man. Not around me right now, but let's just get out of here. Pull it up onto the camera for you guys as soon as we get a data log. 
I'll show you guys a little quick how to read it real, you know, just a little quick demonstration. And uh, we'll see on my peak boost. So let's do it, let's get to it. I'm on private property. Don't try this at home. Unless you live in Mexico, I guess. Unless you have like a road in your, on your, uh, on your land. Look, shut them back up into someone. We're gonna see if I brought that boost down. slow so now this would probably be a good time to mess with a quick spool which I'm not gonna do in this video but this I do the data log and this is how long right here here's a time I don't know oh I can do that sweet so we can just go all the way to the end of the recording this is just me cruising to the stop uh, you pink lettering cool guy BMW all right so this is where the data log begins so yeah looks like we actually ended up bringing the boost down from uh, 30 something percent which is i think around uh, 13 psi to 25 percent which brought me down to 9 psi this is, a, this is kind of a damp surface and actually hooked pretty well i can probably up the boost a little bit so let's go back into the parameters uh, let's go to boost control and we can bring the boost up and down with the setting we can't exceed 42 percent or else we're gonna boost cut okay so let's do let's do i don't know 29 29% duty cycle. Let's see what that does. I don't know if we're going to do another pull for you guys, but you guys kind of get the idea. We're going to just go ahead and mess with the... Let's kind of play around with it. Uh, something like this. This is not going to be done in a 15-minute drive. Uh, this is something that you take your time with. Uh, I actually want to get out of this private road and take the car onto a racetrack to mess with this. Oh, I wrapped it up pretty high. Why did it not do that? Anyway, I was at 38. We're going to just go to... Leave it, leave it right there. It's weird. Um, oh yeah, one more thing before we go. So let's go back to the graph. Um, the, you can adjust the whole scale on this. I really wish I could see. Uh, there's a way to do it, I forgot. But you get a little detailed image. You can see the boost is, it dropped a little bit at 6,000 RPM. So 6,000 RPM, you look down 7.9. Before that, 8.1 so I mean it's not not dropping very much 8.2 at 6 honestly I would definitely if it would if it were me I would ramp the boost up a little bit that's not it was like it felt a little weird it felt kind of slow but it got traction so I guess you know yeah you get the idea so boom uh, let's do 29 29% I was gonna go 29 across the board maybe do one more pull for you guys and I want to data log the next pull because we remember we upped the boost. It was 25. Now we're at 29. So I'm going to put the camera down. Uh, always click upload when you're done making changes. 
So upload. Cool. So it's uploading. Not gonna data log this pull. I gotta remember to shut the data log off. I don't want another 46 second data log. still um, then it dropped to 8.8 8.7 8 then it went up to 9 so we have a little tiny uh, and that's when I let out uh, we had a little tiny variance in the looks like it dropped about a pound a pound and a half of boost so you can read at the top end we can actually up the duty cycle so meaning we'll go back to parameters uh, around 8, maybe we can do instead 29% duty cycle. So we'll go to 29% at 8,000 RPM. And maybe we'll do, uh, we'll up the value because we had a, we saw a slight drop in boost. Let's do 31% duty cycle. How about that? And we're not going to do any more pulls today. So, boom. Alright, we're going to go to save that. It's better to have a map saved on your computer instead of like constantly downloading it. I'm hearing that it could corrupt the file. I don't know for a fact. I'm gonna exit my data. That's how you guys do it. Save changes. I'm not gonna save already. See so if you guys got something for this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe. Hopefully you guys can go out there and get your Hondas and hook up. Because we're not all-wheel drive. If you're all-wheel drive, then screw you. You don't have to worry about this as much. Because I'm pretty sure you can hook 20 pounds. I heard my fan kick on, so okay, 202, not bad, okay. Um, probably like, what is this idiot in the Honda do?